talked a few times before about BigCommerce Page Builder, where you can um, help the content management of a, any sort of page within BigCommerce through the use of widgets, different sort of reusable components uh, that can be plonked on the page wherever you like. So here we have just an example uh, widgets that I've talked about from one, our hack day um, and the actual admin interface for it. You can kind of click on, insert a, a new row of cards uh, widget and update the images and text. Now, as I've said before, we're using widgets extensively um, within our BigCommerce projects to en enable this kind of level of customizability um, for, for new projects, which makes a lot of sense. Um, and to actually create a widget, you need to send an API request um, with a little bit of information in. So you need to send the name of the widget so it's visible uh, in the admin area, the template. So BigCommerce uses uh, handlebars, so you need your handlebars template there. Um, and then you need your schema. So the actual sort of definition of the configuration options you will have in the admin area. You may also have things like the storefront GraphQL query, which is a recent addition to enable you to pull additional information um, from the store and consume that in your template. Now this is all great, um, but you know we're finding now we're having multiple widgets um, on a store that we sort of co-locate that code um, and the, the template and the schema in particular with our BigCommerce theme. And then on a deployment, we want to make sure the theme is up to date and all of our widgets are up to date. Um, and even in development, kind of working directly with Postman uh, for API requests um, is a bit slow, um, and you don't want to have to worry about compiling uh, the, the you know, the template ready for, to, for in this JSON format, ready for submission. So we've been talking internally about having a little tool that would uh, pull this information together. So you have a template file, you have a schema file, um, and you perhaps have a GraphQL uh, query file. Um, and it's just a little lightweight wrapper. So you can kind of update the template easily uh, and quickly be able to push an update to BigCommerce. Now I was browsing around and I actually found there was already a tool out there that will help us do this. Um, so Hatertron3000, uh, great name, uh, is actually Patrick Puente, um, hoping I'm not doxing you at this point, uh, Patrick Puente, Inter Enterprise Solution Architect at BigCommerce. Um, and now this is exactly what you need to do. Um, you, It will take your API details uh, for your BigCommerce store um, and then it works just on an individual template, uh, individual widget right now. Um, but then it has separate files, as I was describing, so you can manage your schema, your, your GraphQL queries, and your templates. So I was going to quickly take you through what it looks like to use. So if I hop over to uh, Visual Studio, I have here just a, a very simple widget. Uh, I was discussing with uh, somebody recently who was trying to get a widget working, and it was just a great good use case. So uh, if we get started again, uh, just clear this. Once you've installed it, it's an NPM package. You can init it, and I'll ask you a few basic questions. So first is, you know, what's your template uh, widget template going to be called? Um, let's call it Big Widget Demo. And then you have a little few, a few different options for actually getting you up and running. Um, some basic schemas, i.e. the configuration um, area options. Um, I'm going to choose Tab for this one. And then we'll need our API token. So you need to set this, uh, get this created by the store owner in the BigCommerce admin area, uh, and it will particularly need at uh, the content modify permission. Click my token in, along with the store path. Uh, then it has finished and created um, some new files for me: a secrets file as well as a config file. Now, um, if we look here, we have our basic template, as you've been able to see. Um, I've already modified this for the use case I'm discussing. Uh, and simply the schema, you chose a tab, which helped me get started, but I've then added to that. So we're here we're just having some basic uh, typography options. So there's a select box um, that's gonna have heading um, and heading um, with a few different uh, H1 to H6 options, as well as a paragraph option. Um, then we have a input class and ID uh, field that you can complete as well. So once you've done that and you're, you're happy, um, you want to, Add this to BigCommerce, you would simply say big widget push, um, and then it sends that to BigCommerce. You can see it's been successful. We should have a new widget called big widget demo. Um, and then it, um, once you kind of get into the weeds with widgets, they have different um, versions uh, as well as IDs. So if we swap back to uh, our page builder, I should now be able to refresh this page. And here we have our new widget. So I can drop this into the top here. And we can see that we have our new dropdown uh, with H1 to H6. We can enter our tests uh, and have test classes and test IDs. 
and we have our new new heading. And I can go ahead and, and save that. Um, and that'll take a little while and I'll update the front end of our site, which is great. Um, now you can imagine if you need to kind of modify this template again, maybe change the schema. Um, so maybe it will just, just tweak the heading text, choose a heading style. Just kind of show you. Then we'll go back to push our widget again creating a new version for us. You can see how this is already a, kind of a lot easier than kind of fiddling with, with Postman, uh, particularly for, for modifying templates. Now, once you have updated it, as I mentioned earlier, we have um, a versioning in widgets. So because we've got a new version now, we we'll, when we click on this, we'll see a little pop-up saying here, a new widget has uh, update is available um, and we can force update this and get our, our new, um, options shown in the admin and obviously that's a protection for you know when you're releasing new widgets you don't necessarily want them all to be um, kind of immediately take effect on the site so we don't want to you know particularly if you're shipping them with an app or something like that you don't want to kind of immediately change the look and feel of people's sites you need to kind of give that control to them so um, this is a great way of doing that and it's built into to the uh, to page builder um, Albeit you can also force it as well. So there's an option when um, submitting to force override and create and uh, modify the same version. So that's a quick tool. Um, it doesn't seem like many people have found it so far. So I just wanted to, to share as a uh, great way of managing your widget templates in BigCommerce.